Eternal Watcher. Part 6. Seeker for eternity, I have roamed the world, a timeless and nameless entity that exists solely to collect the essence of life. My form is shapeless, and I exist only in the blood that courses through the veins of mortals. Though I am often feared, there are those who have sought me out, seeking the power and knowledge that comes with my presence. One such seeker was a young woman named Isabella. She had heard tales of my power and knew that if she could find me, she would have the ability to see into the future and control her own destiny. Isabella searched for me for years, traveling to far-off lands and seeking out wise sages who might be able to point her in the right direction. But no matter where she went or who she spoke to, she found only dead ends and false leads. Finally, in a small village on the edge of a great desert, Isabella met an old woman who claimed to know the secret of my location. The woman told Isabella that I could be found in the heart of the desert, where the sands were hot and the sun was merciless. Isabella set out on the long journey across the desert, braving sandstorms and blistering heat. As she grew weaker and more desperate, she began to doubt whether the old woman's story was true. But just as she was about to give up hope, Isabella saw a figure in the distance. It was a shapeless entity, shifting and changing with every passing moment. As she drew closer, she realized that it was me, the essence of time itself. Without hesitation, Isabella offered me her blood, hoping that I would grant her the power and knowledge she so desperately sought. And in that moment, as her blood mingled with mine, Isabella felt a rush of power coursing through her veins. She saw visions of the future, both glorious and terrible. She saw wars and plagues, kings rising and falling, and a great cataclysm that would shake the very foundations of the world. But she also saw the possibilities that lay before her. She saw a path to greatness, a way to seize all that she desired and bend the world to her will. And with that knowledge, Isabella knew that she could achieve anything she set her mind to. As for me, I simply watched, knowing that Isabella was just one more mortal who had fallen under my sway. For no matter how powerful she might become, she was still bound to the passage of time, and in the end I would always seize all. <laughs>